say if you a bad bitch, put your hands up high. Honestly, Rihanna, if you stumble across this video, please let me be in the next show. Yeah, I feel like I'm the perfect candidate, honestly. Hi guys, welcome back to The Shannon Show. Hello if you're new. So today's video is going to be a reaction to The Savage Times Fenty Show Volume 2. I hope everybody is doing as well as can be. And I really do hope everybody is being as proactive as possible in supporting the Black Lives Matter movement. And if you're still on the lookout for some resources, I've linked some in the description. Feel free to comment down below your thoughts on my commentary. I'm always up for a chat, I'm always up for a debate. And if you like this video, give it a thumbs up. And if you didn't, give it a dislike. No hard feelings. So, Savage Times Fenty Volume 2. We've been waiting for it, we've been anticipating it. And Rihanna always delivers, so I haven't watched it yet. But I've seen some snippets, so I already know I'm in for a good time, honey. Um, so yeah, obviously I've got my cute outfit on, I've got Fenty on my lips, I've got the Gloss Bomb Diamond, I think it's Diamond Milk, I think it's called Diamond Milk, but yeah, Fenty on my lips darling, lips shining like a diamond. So yeah, let's just get into it Shadi, I know there's going to be some good performances, our girl Nomani is back, we've got Lizzo in here as well, we've got Rosalina in here as well. I'm here for it. I'm here for it. And we've also got Jada Essence Hall and Shea kool mm. We are in for a treat, baby girls. So yeah, let's fucking go. And of course the Queen Rihanna. How could I forget her? Whether it's the scent, whether it's the sound. Okay, Mr. Rihanna. Body. I'm emotionally connected to this visual, to this visual experience. The body, exquisite. Is this Rosalina? I think so. She is the dancer, isn't it? I think it is her. Okay, maybe this isn't her. <laughs> Wrong person. Oh, is it? I'm Wild, free, ferocious. She is not to be tamed, just let her be. These visuals. Okay, bitch. It's if you a bad bitch, put your hands up high. I'm living for this choreography. Poetic justice. Poetic justice. Oh yeah, they've got the men's rage now. Better yet with your friends in here. Everybody looks so nice and moisturized. I'm loving it. My bones, let's I write it down for real. PS. Okay, Kara. With your mullet. Okay. I'm loving with this choreography. Artistic. Oh, I, I like that bralette. All right, come through with the legs. Okay, here's Rosalina. Love her voice. Maybe it was her at the beginning because she was nice. Because the, the, the girl who fought looked like her was thick as well. So maybe it was her. She was but you work a good girl. I didn't know Rosalina was thick like this. I didn't peep it. I always wanted a diary. I always thought my mom would get into it. So my diary was always in my head. 
Listen, parents are nosy, especially black mums, nosy as fuck. That's the, I, I had a diary, and actually it wasn't even my mum who found it, it was my siblings who found it and they read it, and yeah, after that I was like, yeah. <laughs> I quit. <laughs> Just roll with it, girl. Yeah, I would agree. Just roll with this, this. Don't overthink it. Inspiration can come from anything. What makes it unique is your own interpretation on that. I second that. Oh, that looks nice. That corset. Mm. Come through, Rihanna, the designer. She's letting y'all know. Ain't no team made this for me. This is my shit, shawty. I mean, I'm, I I think it's great how she, how she's showing us how involved she was in the background process. But I ain't gonna lie, I want to I want to get back to the performance, Shadi. She's sexy. Oh, okay, I haven't heard this song in a while. Titties. Okay, India Moore. Yes, bitch. Okay, Bella. Bella's sex appeal is something shoddy. Okay, Demi Moore. She giving the young girls a run for their money. Okay, Jada. My girl. Okay, Big Sean coming through with that oiled up chest. Edges laid. <laughs> he came to show face and dipped. No money. You better come through, Shadi. Titties. Body. Marry me, sis. Yes, bitch. Put him on and make her want to marry me, Shadi. Okay, Bella. You better come through with that walk. Bella, she knows she's motherfucking dripping hot, shady. Oh, we got some LMA. Okay, girl. Oh, I like this song. Oh, okay, that's where I know him from. Shay! want to. I watch drag queens do the same thing when they draw on their lips and all of a sudden their entire demeanor changes. Exactly. A lot of these people be teething from the drag queens' style. They are innovators. They definitely are and they definitely deserve their props. It's about time. Especially, uh, I've got to correct that, asterisk black drag queens. Willow face, wow. Willow has Willow's face is unmatched as well. Rico, yes, bitch. I put on some Doc Martens. That might mean I'm about to kick a bitch in the face. <laughs> you should stop kicking bitches in the face, Rico. <laughs> Especially what after what happened last time, Shadi. <laughs> okay, Miguel. Okay, he looks good in the outfit. Oh, that was that Met Gala look. I mean, Rihanna has has been a fashionista. I mean, no questions asked. It's fun to watch artists like Rihanna do it so effortlessly. Mhm. Mm Most definitely. But she's super like reserved and chill, and those are sides that people probably will never really see unless you like know. really i feel like she has got a very chill vibe about her 
I feel like everybody has two sides. It depends, you know, you can see different elements in, in people. Oh, that ski mask look was iconic. If I'm feeling lazy, I'm gonna wear the biggest hoodie and be just as bummy as I would feel when I'm not feeling my prettiest. Okay, but rich bummy and normal bummy is not the same, is it, girl? It's not the same. <laughs> Whatever makes you feel the best, just go for it. I mean, when I'm rich, I'm definitely gonna take that advice. Lizzo! She was meant to be in the WAP video. Imagine if she was. That would have been so iconic. You better perform, Lizzo. I knew your ass was gonna perform. You better. You better, shit. So sugar. Honestly, I really do want to go to a Lizzo concert. Look at this performance, guys. We're getting it for free as well. Well, obviously, if you're paying for Amazon, thank you. <laughs> thank you to my Amazon link. Shout out to my Amazon link. You know who you are. Love you. Period, Lizzo. Period. I think she's, she's probably the best artist performance, I think, so far. Not gonna add. You know, this is a really beautiful performance, but I'm kind of missing Lizzo a bit. Wearing whatever the hell I want, however the hell I want to wear it, for myself. Period, period. Do you not just wear something and think, damn, I look fucking sexy. And you ain't even going nowhere. But you just look fucking sexy and you're just loving it. Period. 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 Trust me. Trust me. When I come into my money, the outfits are going to be ridiculous. Sexuality that has to be owned or earned. I'm not sure about earned. But I think owned, yes, definitely. Maybe, uh, maybe as in like, you have to explore it. Maybe, maybe that's what she's trying to say. Sexuality is inherently powerful. It's kind of been co-opted into a performance for someone else. That I can agree with. Oh, okay, Gigi. I love the wig and the makeup. Did you peep that? She still has her armpit hair. We love to. Having armpit hair is not unhygienic. Trust me, when my armpits can't be seen, they're hairy as fuck. <laughs> I think one day, one day I will just. I mean, I have been out with hairy armpits. But one day I'll be on video with my hairy armpits and just don't give a fuck. Because let me tell you, I've had enough of the razor bumps. I've had enough of them. I've had enough of the razor bumps. I've had enough of the epilator scratches. I've had enough. But I think sometimes a bare armpit is aesthetically pleasing. But sometimes, you know, you know when it's just like the, the hair starts coming through. It actually does. It actually looks kind of cute, you know. You tend to not shave my armpits again until they get like extra hairy. Like I don't, I don't really need them to be like bare, like bare of any hair all the time. I think I personally just, yeah, I don't think it's that deep if you've got just like, uh, your hair just starts growing through a bit. But I'd be interested to hear from you guys. Have you gotten to that stage of your life where you no longer care whether you have hair on your armpits and stuff like that? Or do you just feel like as soon as the hair comes through, it's got to go? I'd be interested to hear from you guys. But yeah, shout out to the girls who just really just not be giving a fuck what society thinks. Okay, Bad Bunny. Growing out his hair. You know, I'm kind of, because I'm forgetting, it's not just Fenty Beauty she owns. She also has Fenty, the luxury brown wear. So I'm thinking when it's not that, it's probably Fenty, isn't it? Yeah. Okay, I, I recognise her, can't pin the name on her. I think it's somebody I recognise. But okay, hey girl. Yes, queen. Oh, I 
love this kind of the false the falsies. She kind of looks like a sexy ostrich. Oh, I really love the bodysuit she's wearing. I'm loving this enchanted garden vibe. <laughs> you smiling, girl, because you know you look good. <laughs> Yes, bitch, you better serve that face. Period. Period. Oh, I forgot what her name is. I know she's an actor. I know that's his wife. I know her name begins with an N. Okay, husband and wife duo. I love what she's wearing as well. Love this song. You gotta know, know that I adore you, yeah, baby. Okay, I think they could have paid a bit more attention to his makeup, but I'm living for the performance. <laughs> you got to know, baby. gonna lie I kind of do want to see his mind not gonna lie beautiful thing about Rihanna is that she's a global artist and she includes everyone one thing that Rihanna has been has been very inclusive throughout her makeup and her um, skincare and clothing she has been very inclusive and she has shown that throughout so I can respect Rihanna for that she's been about it and honestly, I feel like brands should follow suit. If you, you're, they always have this one look on the runway, and it's never representative of the people who are actually buying their shit. Um, so yeah, I feel like all of these brands need to follow suit. Even these fast fashion brands, it doesn't make sense to me that their influencers all look the same and they look like they don't look like their customers. That's why I started my blogging page, Retail Realness. Um, that is Retail Realness with two S's on the end. Um, to show the everyday blogger, show the everyday person, to highlight that. So yeah, I can definitely respect what um, Rihanna is doing. But yeah, I'll add that below if you want to follow that on Instagram. Join the movement, shout it. Don't come through, thickums. They've got the dad bods in there. Oh, I recognise her as well. She's a comedian. Okay, girl. Yes. Oh no, she's not, she's a rapper as well, isn't she? Okay, Paris, looking good. Okay, Willow. Yes, the face is effortless. You better work that body. Okay, come through with the androgynous vibes. I feel like this is. Dan Dye Antwood. I hope it isn't. I think it is. Let me just jam it. Because they are problematic. I thought so. These guys love doing blackface. So their inclusion is a bit of a question mark for me. It's a bit of a question mark. Let's not include them next time, Rihanna. You better show face. I'm loving this section here. Okay, Daddy, you better come through with that waist. You better shake Kool Aid. Padding immaculate. Come on, Gigi. Gigi's always serving fish. Okay, Nico. The thickness. 
Is this Miss Dua? No, no, this isn't her. <laughs> no, I thought it was Dua Lipa for a second. That's um, I Ian, I think her name. Yeah, you better come for the Afro beats. Energy. Giving me life, this makes me want to get up and dance. It makes me, me want to get up and wind my ways. Okay, you better. <laughs> is she meant to be somebody? I don't know who she is. Okay, Christian. Does that say Sean John? They're allowing they're allowing some cross branding going on. Okay. Okay, Rihanna, that's very kind of you. What you gonna do, Christian? Oh, Rihanna's back. Oh, okay, this is the end, isn't it? Oh, this is cute. Right, that was the end. That was a cute little perform. That was really cute. There was me thinking it was finished, girls. It's not finished yet. We've got a little outro. Okay, Travis Scott. I thought that, I thought I was missing someone. No oh, future. I think that's future. <laughs> okay, cinematography. Visuals. Oh, it's not future, it's young thug. My bad, y'all. Okay, now it's officially finished now. It was very well put together. There was a lot of thought process put into this. There was some gems. So yeah, I'm here for it. There was a thought process behind it. So yeah, I'm really proud of I'm really proud of Rihanna and the fact that she's been able to bring forward these well put together projects. And I think she's setting her own lane. And I think she's really setting her own lane in the fashion world. I think a lot of people need to perhaps take some notes. Cough, 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 cough Victoria's Secret. I feel like Rihanna is definitely the standard now. So yeah, that's kind of the roundup of everything. Do let me know what your thoughts were on this fashion week extravaganza. Of course, as always, let me know what you thought about my commentary. Subscribe if you haven't yet, and if you have, don't forget to put my notification bell on so you know when the next video is dropping. I'm also trying to get to 1.9k subscribers, so I'd appreciate if you help me out with that goal. And thank you to everybody who has subscribed to my channel so far. Till next time, guys. Bye!